You know, if you owe money, uh, the cost of financing that and dealing with all the associated problems with higher interest rates, it makes it a little bit more onerous. But if you are trying to make some money and actually you are not worried about debts because you don't have them, or very few of them, and you're just trying to sock away some dough, uh, you've almost been wasting your time trying to put in a bank CD or savings account. Now, that is beginning to change as rates tick up for the savers among us. That is welcome news. Greg McGride joins us right now, the chief financial analyst at Bankrate. Uh, Greg, we forget about that side of the equation, don't we? <laughs> we have, and it's probably because re returns have been so low for so long. And you're right, Neil, things have turned a corner in the sense that for much of the last three years, it was a situation where the returns on savings fell and then inflation took off. And now we're in a situation where over the course of the next year or two, we're expecting interest rates to go up and hopefully eventually inflation to come down. Much better fortunes for savers and what they've enjoyed the past several years. Yeah, we were showing some rates, I believe, at Capital One, where a two-year CD is north of 2%. Of course, at two years from now, rates could be a lot higher, so you might not want to walk in to something uh, like a 2% rate. Um, where do you see it going as far as savings rates are concerned as we inch forward and inch higher? Well, I think the first thing is you have to be looking in the right place. Uh, not all banks are going to be raising rates, and certainly not at the same pace. Uh, larger right. banks in particular that are sitting on a pile of deposits, they're going to be very hesitant to raise rates. So important to shop around online banks, smaller community banks, credit unions. That's really that fertile ground. And to answer the question, Neil, I, I, you know, if we, the Fed is going to be as aggressive as we think they are, if they're going to push that Fed funds rate uh, north of three and a half percent, maybe more, uh, you're going to continue to see this leapfrogging among banks uh, trying to outdo each other on things like savings accounts and CDs. So I would caution, though, consider your returns in the context of inflation. Rates on savings going up is great. But the other side of that that we also need to see, we need to see inflation come down as well. You know, Greg, a lot of people look at this and say, all right, well, these rates still can't compete with what people think they could get in the stock market. Of course, what they've been getting in the stock market lately, depending where they are, is that absolute buckets. They've been losing money. So maybe that's changed their view of what we think would be paltry returns, uh, because at least they get to keep more of what they have versus what's been going on in the stock market. In other words, has the psychology changed? It does. And that's one of the things that higher rates does is that it does tend to bring those valuations on stocks, particularly the really growthy stuff, back to earth. And that's what we've been experiencing uh, since the first of the year. As interest rates are ticking up, uh, all of a sudden the valuation on those stocks not as generous. Savers, investors start to look at those risk-free returns and, and maybe uh, look at them a little bit more favorably than they did in a year like last year where the market just went up had no downside volatility, right. and interest rates were still really low. You know, I'd be curious to get your take, uh, Greg, on this notion the Federal Reserve might hike three-quarters of a point today. I think the New York Post was saying, you know, it could be a full percentage point. I don't know what it will be, but that it's going to be a lot more aggressive and a lot uh, quicker at doing so. Um, so what would the impact of that be? If, if, if the Fed makes it clear... Inflation is our worry. We hope to hang on to the economy and avoid a recession. But inflation is our worry. Everyone's become Paul Volcker. What do you think? I, I do expect the Fed's going to get more aggressive, not just today, but in the months ahead. I mean, that uh, news on inflation last Friday, the consumer price index and then the inflation expectations of consumers was an absolute disaster. And so it's really forced the Fed's hand. Uh, a little over a month ago, they said they weren't even considering a three-quarter percentage point hike. And yet, right, I think right. that's a strong likelihood that that's what we get today. All right. We'll watch closely. Greg, you're always a calming presence. I like that. Uh, so we need more of that because everyone's like Don Knotts. Uh, they're going crazy here.